Heyo boss and welcome back to the first video of the new year. With football coming to a close, we got playoffs here and the Super Bowl coming up. Chef wanted to share with you his take on the taco dip. Let's get cooking. The first thing you're gonna do is just take out a nice skillet there, heat it up, and let's get our meat ground. This is gonna be an 80-20, one pound ground beef. Chef's got the classic mix and chop. And all you're gonna do is just kind of mix this together and make sure all the beef is ground as well as fully cooked. Once that's done, Chef's gonna actually put this through a strainer just to get some of the fat out, because 80-20 has more flavor, but it is a little bit more fatty, so. Once it's been uh, strained, go ahead and put it back in the bowl. Chef now is gonna add a little bit of water as well as this uh, taco seasoning because he's using a kit, because it's the cooking corner, and that's what we do. Easy, fun, but appropriate shortcuts. Mix that all together, just like so. Add a little bit of tomato sauce right in there, and then keep mixing. You want, the, you want this heat on medium to medium high. And then after several minutes, when everything's been nicely cooked in, go ahead and take this off the burner to a cooler burner. Wow, look at that technology, Chef. This is a good year. I wonder how he did that. Okay, in a, a bowl, go ahead and get some softened cream cheese, as well as some sour cream. And don't forget all the ingredients will be listed down below. Chef's gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise, and then he's just gonna mix all these together. He's using a fork, but you can use anything else like a whisk or a spatula. It's up to you. Okay, once that's done, Chef's got a ceramic plate here, like a pie, pie, pie plate. And he's just going to go ahead and spoon that right in and then just smooth it out for a nice base. Now, Chef wanted to add, if you have like a throwaway or tin foil kind of deal if you're going out for a party definitely do that that way you can just kind of toss it when the night's over you don't got to bring home any of the dishes but if you're hosting you can definitely do this okay after it's been spread out just like that go ahead and throw it in your fridge for about 10 to 20 minutes to cool down i like that cup chef is that because you spill a lot okay so after it's cooled down chef's gonna take his ground beef mixer put it right on top and just like he did before he's gonna just smooth this over second layer that is some nice smoothing chef you are really starting the new year off with a kick okay so chef's got some chopped up lettuce he's gonna put on there after that chef has some chopped up onions and then of course you gotta have the cheese so chef's using a taco blend mix, Colby Jack, a little bit of shred shredded cheddar, and uh, of course you can do whatever cheese mixture you prefer, up to you. And then some tomatoes, you just chopped up a tomato and put that right on top. And if you want to do anything else, olives, jalapenos, whatever, it's totally up to you. Now chef didn't melt the cheese, he's going to serve it just like so. And he's got his chips or Tostitos, oh, don't say Tostitos, we're not sponsored, sorry, sorry, generic dipping chips um and that's it i think we're gonna they're gonna like this and um it came out really good perfect for a game or game night whatever you prefer but definitely try it out we know there's a lot of taco dip videos but we hope you do try ours thanks again everyone and don't forget cooking should be fun have fun doing it